Hello everybody, this is Diane. Are you ready to see what I found at the flea market today? I've been finding a lot of good things at the flea market. Um, there are more vendors this year than there were last year. Last year it seemed like it was declining. Like um, it just wasn't as good last year. And I haven't been able to go to the one that's in the barns yet. That's at a uh, casino, racetrack, restaurant. Thing in New in New York, and um, the casino and restaurant can't open yet, and the Barnes flea market antique store can't open until the casino does. They're hoping for July first. So anyway, I haven't been able to go to that, and I usually find lots of good stuff there. But I've been finding good things at the outdoor flea market here in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to go through what I found today. Um, the blue van man wasn't there. I missed him. But so this one guy, um, he had this, this tarp. Every week I've gotten things from him. He just has a tarp and it's something different every time. And it's um, 25 cents per item or fill a bag for $2. Um, and then he has other things that aren't on the tarp that he charges different prices for, but it's all reasonable. So I think this is the pile of stuff I got from him for $2, all of this stuff right here. So these are just some address labels. I don't think they're vintage, but I can use those. And even in a journal, I'll use them. Um, just a few postcards. This is the Mansfield Hotel in Man Mansfield, Pennsylvania, but I don't know how old it is. It's not recent. Look at the cars. Um, and this pretty postcard. It was just kind of, you know, laying down in a bunch of stuff. Really pretty postcard. It's probably from early 1900s. And this one too. It's um, 3D, textured, has a little card on the front. Really pretty. I do have more postcards that I have to put in as digitals. And this is just uh, 1943, just a plain postcard. has a message on the back, which I didn't read, but it might be fun to read. I love these. I haven't been buying playing cards because I just I have plenty of playing cards, and I've sold lots and lots of playing cards, so I figured I'm not going to mess with them anymore unless they're really good, something that I really love, and these fit the bill for that. So... This is a painting by J.F. Schall, S-C-H-A-L, L, <laughs> two L's. I'm not familiar with him, but I love that. And this is a painting by Van Dyke. And it's not even open. So, love those cards. And this was a pretty good book. I thought this would be a really fun little journal. Good meals and how to prepare them. Um, this one is 1929. That's pretty old. I think these are newer than that. These handwritten recipes. Looks like there's stuff tucked in here. There's often stuff is tucked into recipe books. has some phone numbers on it. It's a handwritten recipe. Stuff that came off of cans. A little booklet, Jellos, Treats and Eats. <laughs> Magazines and stuff like that. So anyway, I just love that cover. And this little booklet is cute. Old timey recipes. But I love the, this is 1969. Oh, 2002. 23rd edition. I didn't think it was that old. But look at the, it's like hand printed. So these will make really fun um, journal pages, cookbook journal pages, or any journal pages. The light seems a little strange in here, doesn't it? 
Last week I found that really gorgeous searchlight recipe book with a really pretty 3D panel on the front. This is searchlight recipe book from Household Magazine. But it, it doesn't have the pretty picture on the front, but it's still a pretty cool book. And it was part of the two dollar bundle here. It was I could have just bought this for a quarter. There's a recipe for some kind of pickle up there. Hard to read the writing. Um this is 1943. And it's got the tabbed pages again. So I think I might just put this book in my shop. And the Butterick Book of Recipes and Household Helps. I do like this cover. I have an idea of something to do to decorate it. It's really dirty. I need to clean it. But I just, I like the pattern on it. But I also like the fact that it's not just recipes. Look at the back. It has household helps too, so I can use these things in domestic arts journals and homemaking journals and stuff like that. So that's really fun. This one is, oh, that was, we're not on the $2 set anymore. These were a dollar each. The Fables of Aesop. And it's illustrated. Nineteen thirty-eight. The first edition was eighteen ninety-four, but this one is nineteen thirty-eight. So lots of illustrations in there. I am going to be going through my books again and pulling some out to put in my shop. So some of these might might go in the shop, like the, the Aesop book and the, or Aesop, however you say it, and that Searchlight Cookbook maybe. This one is, compl is just falling apart, but I liked the cover. See, the, it's just falling apart. But we can create a new spine. Um, it does need some tender loving care because it's all worn on the edges, but just look at it. Would you have left that behind if you saw it? The Good Housekeeping Cookbook. And it's just beautiful. It's got some colored pages in the front. Um, the pages are quite thin, but lovely. I'm trying to find, I can't turn the page. I'm trying to find uh, the copyright date. There we go. Um, 1955. And it does have illustrations and photographs. It's a yucky page. Somebody, somebody may use this page a lot. The pages that I, um, go to a lot are in my cookbooks look like that <laughs> so that's a great cover um, what else did I get in books I got this I thought this would be really fun to include in domestic arts journals it's an old Tupperware booklet how fun is that this probably doesn't have a, a date on it yep 1975 really cool. And then this, because I'm going to be making a Hummel book journal, so this is about collecting Hummel figurines. So that'll be fun to use. Um, I got this box of stationery. It's got this pattern on it, just a little design of horses um, in the corner and all the pages have that and there's some envelopes I think they're just plain yep just plain envelopes to go with them 
be putting those in my shop. When I get to it, I, I, I've been doing better this year, getting them in, getting things in faster. And then I picked these up. There were more I could have gotten, but I figured three was enough. These were only a dollar a piece. Country Gentleman, America's foremost rural magazine. Oh, I was trying to find it. The sticker covered the date, but here it says December 49. So I figured this would have images and advertisements that would go good in farm journals. Here's an ad for fencing. There's a fence between the cows. This one, the fence is broken, and this one, the fence is good. So this, this is obviously this fence. And she's saying, sorry, but I can't accept your invitation. <laughs> this cow's ready to go out and play because her fence is broken, but that one can't accept the invitation. That's cute. Mary Lou Dahl. This part is the country gentlewoman. So this section is for the farm wife. Aww. Yeah, these are cool magazines. So I got that one. This one is October 45. And this one with the strawberries on it is 48. I got some paper dolls. This looks like it's from the 70s. Jean jeans. So even her bathing suit looks denim. But it looks like it wasn't used. There's one outfit, one little dress. Um, well, maybe some more pieces were taken out. It's It was all folded up in, inside that box. That must be that's how it came. There's another outfit. But there's um, lots of outfits that aren't even punched out yet. The paper dolls will all go in my shop. I got this set. This I had to pay a little more for. Usually the paper dolls, the vintage paper dolls, aren't cheap. And these girls are quite tall. So I think these would go to a collector rather than a junk journal maker but I think some of you are paper doll collectors because they're kind of tall for a journal. But they're so, so wonderful. They look like they're from the 40s. And pretty dresses. Yeah, the outfits look like they're from the 40s too. I don't know what she got, which outfit. I don't know. Anyway, I think that one goes with her. She gets a lot of them. She's the only one facing that way. Anyway, you get four dolls. There's four dolls and some clothes in this set. And last set of paper dolls is so cute. These are even bigger. Look at that. And I think the bag that they came in, they were in a paper bag, and I think it said 1945 or 44 on it. This one's head is loose. even an outfit for the baby doll that she's holding. <laughs> How cute. Aww. And there's a little baby doll named Buddy. I don't know if he if he came with them or if that's from a separate set. Because he doesn't look like a doll. He looks like a little boy. 
This is split. I think somebody cut it when they weren't supposed to because it's cut, not torn. There's that. Oh, look at that. Oh, these are so precious. There's another one for that girl. She's holding a mother goose book. It covers up the baby. Yeah, this doesn't go. Oh, yeah, that's a scarf. There's a hat. Oh, a hood to go with this outfit. A rocking horse. This is chipboard. It must have come on the cover. And it stands. Well, it's supposed to. And also this little... Oh, look at that. Maybe he did come with this set. I don't know. Anyway, lots of clothes with this. That's a really fun set. It's wonderful. Um, I got this little pack of vintage papers, and I don't even know what's in it. It was only a dollar, so I got it. But look at that. Pretty writing. I'm trying to see a date. I don't, I don't see a date. Here we go. 1901. Oh, look at that. T.M. Reed. Carpets cleaned, feathers renovated, etc. Feathers renovated. 1897. I'm going to scan that. Wow. I don't know what this is, but it's a pretty green. It's a receipt, but it's got writing. It looks like it ran off of something else. I like the numbers. I think I'll scan this in just because the color is so pretty and it looks interesting. It would be good in a collage. You are cordially invited to attend the meetings to be conducted by the evangelist. Reverend B. Fay Mills in the New Gospel Tabernacle, Water Street. Um, I don't know where Water Street is. It doesn't say the town. It says October 3rd, but it doesn't have the year. Aw, the death of a bright and interesting little girl after a brief illness. Aw. Policeman dies. There's a vintage Christmas card. It says 1950 here at the bottom. It's a little booklet. Oh, it's a little calendar. 1950 calendar. So this must have been a 1949 Christmas card. I love that. Baby's first Christmas. Aw. That is cute. And I got this piece of fabric with Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. I don't think it's the trademark Raggedy Ann and Andy. I think they're just dolls that look like them, but I'm going to use that in Raggedy Ann journals. And, okay, are you ready for this? I got all of this stuff from one vendor. He gave me one, quoted me one lump price and it wasn't cheap. And I don't even know everything that's here. Trying to move these things out of the way so we can go through at least some of it. I don't know if we'll do the whole, like, individual. There was a box, like a big shoe box, that had all this stuff in it. And then I added this gorgeous photo to the pile and this book. I added these things to the pile. So let's go through these things first. And he gave me one lump price for everything. So I love that photo. And this shredded wheat recipe book. Look at that little girl. This is 1933. Look at that. Um, and this is pretty cool. It says quotations. Louise, Louise Warfield, May 29th, 1899. It has little tiny holes. So I think it was tied together with string or ribbon at some t at some point. 
an inside class motto 1899 improve each moment as it flies and then it has um, the girls names in her class and then apparently she got quotes well I don't know I thought I thought maybe the girls would have given her a quote but these are Shakespeare, Emerson, Shakespeare, Dryden. So she just very neatly wrote quotes on these pages. And then there's a back cover. So I just think that's so precious. And it's $18.99. And then this lovely lady. And this lovely lady, I love this picture. So I'll be scanning these photos in. This book is interesting. It's a book of patterns for etching or wood burning or I don't know. Mimeotopics tracing page. Maybe it was just for adding to... Um, bulletins and programs and stuff. Yeah, this is 1947, mimeograph tracing page for schools. And it is full. Oh, there's something at the back here. This is 1950. Winter tracing page. All kinds of stuff. I think this is why I thought it was for wood burning because this I saw this in there. It says our cuts draw attention anywhere. S. J. Kelly engraving, press annex building, Binghamton, New York. Love that. And our cuts help sell your product. Complete printing plate service. more of the mimeograph things. It's upside down. Apparently I got in here backwards. And then this is, um, it says Christmas ideals. That's some really pretty pages. But these are not all ideals. It's just, it doesn't have the binding. So it looks like it's just a little portfolio or something. Um, I mean, this doesn't have pockets, but it's not an ideals book like the other ideals books. September monthly activity unit for kindergarten. Master's new art book. I'll have to organize this and see what all is here. Some of this is going to go in my shop. Let's see what it says on this. Can't read it. Truman something. Fred. <laughs> okay, now let's see what this big old shoebox had in it. I saw some of the things in it, so I wanted the box. Um, this is from 1926, and it's from Russell National Bank, Lewistown, Pennsylvania. My friend and I, remember last year, my friend and I went to Lewis. Oh, that was Lewisburg. Never mind. Well, that's cool. I like that. I figure there's stuff in here I can scan. Ooh, this one for sure. 1926, Russell National Bank with William Russell engraved right there. The oldest, largest, strongest bank in Mifflin County. This check was written for $4. And there's a blue one. I love it that it's it's got the holes in it. It says paid. That's cool. 
I, I, oh, I love this ephemera. This one, all ba bills must be paid in advance. Washington County Hospital Association. So these, these are some hospital bills. I've never seen a hospital bill for $10.50. <laughs> um, this is 1929. Owner's license. operate a motor vehicle 1922 motor vehicle operators license 55 and 56 territory of Alaska government speech of worldwide interest broadcast to all continents hiding the truth why oh this is the watchtower it's a Jehovah's Witness book. Here is a postcard, a picture of our lodge at the sea beach on a shore dinner and outing. A hunting tag. Nineteen twenty four. Oh. Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. Second National Bank interest account. There's letters in there. It's a cool envelope. 1917 envelope. Nothing in it. I wondered if these were from the bank. Pennsylvania, oh! <gasps> Pennsylvania State Lunatic Hospital, Harrisburg, 1917. In reply to yours of the 29th Ultimo in regarding your wife, Mrs. Annie Trail, I am glad to say that your wife is slowly improving. She is not, however, sufficiently improved for us to allow her leave of absence. Aww. Wow. Aww, poor Mr. Trail. I'll put that back in there later. I regret to say she is not well enough to leave the hospital. There has been a decided improvement in her condition since she came here, but she would be of no benefit to you if she were sent home. You would have one additional person to care for. Aw, well, that's kind of mean. No additional benefit. Her condition remains unchanged. I have to read all of those. They were all tucked into this bank envelope. Tire Service Company, 1927. There's a letter. Got some photographs. A lady holding two babies. Oh, that one's cute. Central Light and Power Company bill. Nineteen twenty six. <laughs> A 
on the back it says she is 41 don't forget to send this back soon <laughs> 1923 automobile license that's for Mr. Trail I wonder if Mr. Trail is one of these pictures and if his wife is in one of these pictures the one that's in the that was in the lunatic asylum there's a negative Oh, my battery is flashing. I just put a new one in. Oh, I just did my Heidi flip-throughs, too. Really nice pictures. So I'm just going to go faster through this pile. Board. Oh, board bill of MB Trail. 1930. Boarding. So it must be for the children, Carl and Charlie. Boarding somewhere. Salvation Army Free Clinic. Um, that's the hospital bill again. First National Bank of Everett, Pennsylvania, 1922. Bear signature, Allegheny, but what is it? it? says it's not valid unless filled in with ink. Void after March 30th, 1920 something. I don't know what it is though. It's another letter to Mr. Trail. Chrysler sedan, one brand new four door, five passenger Chrysler sedan ticket. The holder of this ticket is entitled to participate in the awarding of, oh, okay, so it was like a raffle ticket. Best wishes on your birthday. That's pretty. Notice of appeal. Valuation of property for county tax, 1928. Viscos Athletic Association. That's a really cool bill. Dr. Theo Boos, 1929. There's a receipt. There's another one of those cards in a different color. I'll have to open all these letters and see what they are. But. Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania. So it's um, somebody purchased a car. Let's see. Let's go through this. Um, Lewistown Reedsville Water Company. Here's a card. Oh, pretty. A warm Christmas greeting. It doesn't seem to belong, does it? Vendor Affidavit, State Highway Department. Purchase of used motor vehicle. There's the vendor affidavit and the vendee affidavit. <laughs> um, this is dated 19... No, that's the year the car was built. 1914. 1920. 1928. Car papers. Charles Trail. I'm going to be getting out all of my vintage ephemera pieces like this, letters and all this kind of stuff. And whatever I'm not going to scan, I will 
I'll keep some of it. I'll, I want to put it in some of my journals, but I will put bundles together to put in my shop. There's another photograph. I hope you're enjoying going through this with me. If not, you're probably long gone. This is neat. A.L. Grove Wallpaper Pictures and Radios, 1926. Necktie Tyler, the blind tie salesman. Huh. So, is he selling blind ties or is he a blind tie salesman? Huh. Montgomery Automobile Company. There's a postcard, Christmas greetings. Water company. So I think these are receipts of payment and they're on cards, they're on postcards that were sent to him. Montgomery Automobile Company. J.M. Bratton, Furniture, Pianos, Victrolas, Home Furnishings, etc. Register and Recorder. Letters of Administration to Nathan Trail, Estate of Annie Trail. She's the one that was in the asylum. She died. She died in 1922. And this is a bill for things, handwritten. And a deed. And uh, Harrisburg Polyclinic Hospital. I like that window envelope. He cleaned, this gentleman that sold me this stuff cleaned out a house. He cleaned an estate. So any family that would have wanted this stuff would have had it. This is stuff from Harrisburg Polyclinic Hospital. Consolidated Specialties Corporation Automotive Office and Radio Products. Here's some more photos. Somebody went to the Baseball Hall of Fame or something. Valentine. That's silly. She doesn't have anything on behind the Valentine there, behind the heart. To my Valentine, I'm a little bear. Little bears like honey. Will you be my honey? like that. Nathan B. Trail, Russell National Bank, and we've got some more of these blue check things. I love them. 
This is Rush, Russell National Bank with more. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I think that's what these all are. Yeah. Yeah, I got lots of those. Addresses. More. There's a lease dated 1920. State Highway Department Credit Memorandum. We are holding your remittance, awaiting the receipt of your correct application. for healing mother love out of the depths roses will bloom again hospital meditation help us to help you American Express travelers checks March 26 old. Doesn't have any dates on it. Montgomery Automobile Company. Hartley Banking Company, 1921. First National Bank of Everett, Pennsylvania. blank oh so it's oh my goodness it's for taking a test in school that is so cool 1916 I in witness where of I Annie trail the testatrix have to this my will set my hand and seal this day of April 1916 I wonder what I'll have to read that. She's the one that was... I think they just used the back of the test paper for something. It's not actually a test. She's the one that was um, institutionalized. I'll have to read that. Community Discount Company. Statement of Taxes. Mutual Benefit Association. It's a Christmas card from their insurance company, I think. Oh, that's pretty. From your daughter, Cinderella, to daddy. Oh, how sweet.
So we got a bunch of old Christmas cards, postcards. This feels empty. I like the envelope, but it's empty. There's a lot of stuff here. So it's just a bunch of little stuff now. Hopefully there's some good stuff here. Automobile company. Ford sedan. It's a, another raffle ticket. Montgomery Automobile Company. There's another one with a really cool window envelope. Some receipts. Oh, that's her real name. I vaccinated Cinderella Trail <laughs> from a doctor. That's her name. Floyd Trail. And this is dated 1914. Somebody else trail. Looks like Kenner, Melvin Trail, and Glenn Trail. They all got vaccinated. They were all just put in this envelope that didn't relate to them. You never know what you're going to find. Furman and Oles Plumbing and Heating. Taxes. Some handwritten figuring. Oh, there's a pin stuck in there. I'll, I'll scan this in. It's all written in pencil and it's smeared. Cool. Anyway, there's more paper stuff here. I think we're, I think you've had enough of looking at my papers. But I'll be scanning some of it in and I'll be putting some of them in bundles. I'm putting them in my shop. So that was my flea market haul for the day. There's a lot here. Last picture. A guy standing by his car. Maybe it's Mr. Trail by one of his automobiles. Who knows? So like I said, I found a lot of good things today. I hope you enjoyed seeing if you stuck it out till the end. Um, so keep watching my shop. Um, to see what goes in it. I'll do videos as I list things. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.